Good morning from Lalande and from the Lalande peacocks who are just all wandering around outside my bedroom window. But though I love them, I can't spend the whole day looking at peacocks because Philip and I are dashing to Dan's chateau to celebrate him actually moving in. Well, to a tent. Philip, I'm desperate to leave and you're on a go slow at the I moment. Think that's all true. I oh. Think, I think Dan would appreciate some pan chocolate. What do you think? Well, let's chat about all the other things that Dan would appreciate. Then we'll never actually get to Dan's. Good morning. Hello. You look very pretty. Thank you. I like your outfit. Thank you so much. Philip! Yeah, one second. Are you trying to choose the right tea towel? No, I'm trying to choose one that's big enough. Oh, these are darling. I love those. Yes. It's not Saturday, but... Never mind. But hang on, that's too many. I can eat two. Fine. Please do. Yeah? Yeah, you're desperate to get them out of the kitchen? Yeah, very much so. Okay. I think the chickens have had enough of them. <laughs> Even the chickens yeah, are yeah. turning their nose yeah, up yeah, yeah. at Pound so Chocolat. fat chickens. Yeah. Oh, we've got the most spoiled chickens in the world. Okay, come on. So, this is what I was thinking. Fantastic. But I'd still like to get more food. I want to stop at the market. I'm pretty sure the market will be closed. Toodle Pips, we're going to go and see Dan for lunch. Oh. And we'll see you later. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. bye. We've arrived at the market really late. I love this market. Thankfully, the cheese store is still open, so I'm starting there as it's clearly the most important thing. We've chosen a weird theme, cheeses with things added. So we have Munster with cumin, Tom with truffle, and Brie with black pepper. Oh, and a blue, just because. I just went to the butcher's store and I have sausages. So I have some with piment d'espelette and that's a chili, a sort of hot chili from the Basque region of France, but it's very flavorful, very delicious. And then three fat sausages. I didn't even ask what they were in, they just look so fat and herby and delicious. I was like, three of the fat ones too. Got that. And now I think we're gonna to go to a fruit and vegetable store. And I think perhaps have these as hot dogs and then some mustard and some Like a ketchup. French hot dog. Yeah, today we'll get some paper plates. Like a show Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> and weirdly genius for that. <laughs> Okay, let's get some onions. Sure. Yeah. We're getting some strawberries because, of course, we need dessert with hot dogs, don't we? Yes. Critical. Um, and some onion because you do need onion. Merci beaucoup. I have a selection of French bread, a normal pain, and this one is a very pale one, very undercooked. That's the way Philip likes them. And then I got a ficelle. That's the very, very thin ones because I thought that'd be pretty good for hot dogs. So we have a good selection. We should have enough bread. And now we're going to pop to the supermarket, see if we can get some ice and some water and some paper plates and some paper napkins and lots of things. We didn't bring the porcelain this time. No. Oh gosh, look at, there's a chateau. So many chateaus in this region. It's incredible. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this one. Is this a new route? We've got, oh, those lions are eating those men. That's beautiful. It looks incredibly old. I don't wonder which chateau it is. And there's a lovely church here too. Oh, it was delightful. Yeah. A little surprise. We live in such a beautiful region. Uh oh. It looks as though the Lord of the Manor might not be accepting guests today. I think uh, we arranged a house call, so. Oi, Dan! I would, you know. But our horn is broken. That's because it's yeah, usually driven by a British woman and we really don't believe in the use of the horn. <laughs> I had to deactivate it. We have been accepted as guests of the Chateau de Chaumont. Suddenly, the world I used to know, I see it differently. You woke me from a dream, now it's reality. Daniel Preston, you don't have a corkscrew. I didn't bring one because like, you had one last time. It's Showmont style. Showmont. Now, this was going to be a really cool thing where I open a bottle with a screw and a drill. Yeah. But it's actually a glass. Oh, pour. no. I wanted to see it as no. well. So, can you actually do it? Screw a screw in. No joke. This is genuinely how you managed uh, to. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, rebuild an entire chateau from scratch using only a drill and a screw. And some wine. Um, Nothing you no, cannot do. Slightly red tablecloth. But did you notice Philip did bring a uh, runner? No, I did not. Yeah. But they new Ray Bans. Ish. They are, aren't going they? Going for a different vibe this year. It's nice. It's more yeah. settled alone. Yeah. Are you going to go PG. for a new pair every 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 season? Every property purchase, I'll go for every job change. I'll Ooh. go for a new pair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to put sausages on, and Dan told me to step aside. You think it's not warm enough? 
It's a fun. Chateau multi tool. I don't know if you've heard of it before. It's the leaf glass. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's a tent. The fabled tent. Do you you'll keep it once you move into the chateau because it's a reminder of the early days. You could Airbnb, yes? It's full experience, yeah. This is really sparse. All right, I'm going on. Wow. F1 style or not? Totally F1 style, come <laughs> on. That is the way a man with those sunglasses or, rolls. Yeah, or smash it on the side of the chateau and see if it survives. That's like, if the like the survives. shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're less worried about the bottle. Good to go. <laughs> so this is it. You've officially moved in. Officially an on-site chatelaine. Whoa. Again. First yes. time since a few. Christmas. Since yeah, then <laughs> you moved in for me. I'm ready. Oh. You need to. Oh, whoa. Oh. I do feel you need to spray it a bit later, but let's drink some of yeah. first. <laughs> I was pretty impressed because we brought the other glasses, but you had flutes here, the only glasses you had. Yeah. You had champagne flutes. Um, by pure accident. Yeah, well, right. So. No, come yeah. on. Come <laughs> on, admit it. You are turning into Philip. That, that's it. You've moved <laughs> into the shutter now and you're like, Ooh, oh, you no. Nah. I thought you were going to be like, no, you're posh or something. No, no. Philip. Philip. No, that's Philip. I don't know. I don't know. It's an extra yeah. step. It's definitely an extra step. Yeah. You see, Dan still got a long way to go before oh. he becomes a full Philip. I don't think Dan would have naturally put a strawberry in his champagne. No. He said, I'm not going to have just the plain strawberry list, but I'm just, just a, a common Just a plain. Yeah. yeah, no, no, we brought Cam Fresh as well. Did you yeah. think it was completely plain? <laughs> no way. We have parsley, tomatoes, cheese, uh, a lot of lettuce. Sorry about the presentation, but I did figure you would have a sink no, three quarters washed. Street, yeah. Is that meant to be melted? Uh, I think so. It wasn't actually melted when we picked it up, but I think <laughs> it's going to make it better. It's Munster with cumin. Ooh, nice. Do you want me to put it in the... Um, do you want to yeah. put the cheese course away till later? And then, then Bresse oh, do you Do you mind having the cheese course on your table before you've eaten the main course? Mm, How do you feel? Normally, I wouldn't. Yeah. In the fridge bag. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just impressed we've got ice here in one piece. It's yeah. great. Yeah. This is living, isn't it? This is actually what it's all about. This is why you got a chateau. You didn't know it. I it got was a chateau to, come to sit around. in the woodland. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably the I best bit. Yeah. And it's probably the bit that's more and more valuable nowadays because if you mm. think about everyone in COVID stuck in tiny apartments yeah. and it it's wasn't so the huge buildings or the grand yeah. rooms. And it's a lovely statue. <laughs> Garden ornaments. It's a great yeah. sculpture. It's a folly. It is a folly. Yeah. It's so peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. Can't hear anything. You were saying you were sitting here editing till one in the morning? Mm. Just complete silence. Good for the soul. And now I brought my DJI Mini 3 Pro because you said that's the one you've got and I want to copy you in all things, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to wear, wear t-shirts and... Yes, I am. And Ray-Bans. Are yeah. you going to do any renovating? Oh, Maybe. come on. No, no cut, steady on, down. steady Okay, start on. with the drone. <laughs> start with the t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> this is Maiden Voyage at Chaumont. It's like magic. It seems to have a personality. <gasps> that is stunning. I'm going to have such a... It's all you do yeah. then after. Yeah. We lay the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and all you do after, you just cut in between these... You know what we're going to see? We're going to see these like super smooth pan shots of a table setting. Yes. What with everything just blowing <laughs> off. <laughs> the strawberries were great. We had them with a completely melted chocolate bar, which was a win. We're all in a post lunch lull in this sweltering heat. So I'm going to take a moment to do my Dutch lesson. I do it every day and I filmed it when I was doing it yesterday. So I'll leave you with that footage. And as soon as I see you back here, I'm going to go on and explore of the interior of Dan's chateau. I found a moment to sit down in my favorite chair in the kitchen, which is super comfortable to do my daily Dutch lesson because yeah, even though it doesn't sound as though Philip is Dutch, he is actually Dutch. That's his first language. And it's really important to him that I can communicate with his family, even even though most of them speak English, his grandmother does not. So I'm trying to learn a few words and phrases to be able to understand them and communicate with them. And I'm doing that with Babbel. And I'm very lucky because Babbel have offered to sponsor today's video with this ad. 
Now, for those of you who don't know what Babbel is, it is one of the top language learning apps in the world. And I really love it because its lessons are really intuitive and they help you learn another language through real life conversations. And in fact, I had a real life conversation when I went to Maastricht. Sadly, not with your grandmother. I don't think I did that well with the Dutch yet <laughs> with her, though we had a lovely time, but with the man in the fish storm which is very important. I've been practicing this one for ages because I love the herring in Holland. Now, it's a bit like Marmite. It's love it or hate it because it does smell quite strong, but it's so delicious. And I managed to go and order a herring sandwich with onions by myself in Dutch. A broodje herring met oudjes, as je And they understood me. I was very proud. You were a very good student, I have so, to say. I am getting there. Very diligent student. I am diligent, but it's because it's got lots of little sounds and it's really <laughs> fun. And it makes learning seem fun, like a game. And that's what I love about Babbel. It actually prepares you for practical conversations. So helpful when you're traveling or in the world of business or for relationships. In fact, Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language within three weeks. Babbel offer a few different subscriptions, including a lifetime subscription. So if you'd like to try it for yourself, then click on the link in the description box below to get 60% off. All right, Philip, let's see how I'm doing. I'm doing a review. Ich weiß het nicht. That sounds very good. That's a very useful one tonight. <laughs> But it sounds like you do know. I'm going to carry on with this a little bit and then I'll come find you later, darling. And now I've lost Philip and Dan. They appear to have wandered off into the furthest reaches of the chateau. I'm going to wander around and see if I can find them. Okay. Well, that just looks right, doesn't it? <laughs> Where is my actual boyfriend? Uh, he's hovering somewhere at the top, um, contemplating his death coming down. All right, I'm coming up. Yeah. You're coming up. Of course I'm coming up. Oh, I'm going to miss on the fun. Where's the stilettos? This is stunning. It is beyond my wildest expectations. Dan, this is, oh, the stone balustrade. Mm. This is just I love gorgeous. this cheese, like with the art and everything. Yeah. It is gorgeous. And the wires. Have you seen the mirror? No, there's a mirror? Well, it's pretty weird. I just got up here. I've been abandoned. Where's the mirror? Oh my gosh. Oh, Dan! You can stand there. Wow! Can you stand there? Is it okay to walk in? We were standing there, so I hope so. All right, here we go. That is the most spectacular mirror. I don't know what the heck it's doing in an archway. What well, is even? Well, I love it. This should go on top of one of the main. That's what I said. I was saying either in the we're so unified. Or the <laughs> also, Dan, you have to keep. That's what I said. Looks. No, you're joking. Yes, that's exactly what I said. This is where the beehive was. Oh, so you're, beekeeper. Uh, you're producing your own honey now. Yeah, so it's like a bathroom honey spa situation. Very nice. Yeah. And you will be really. making your spa products from yeah. that. Uh, so That's down. so cool. Cool, no? Have you seen the view out? I love it. Um, yeah. Uh, how safe is it to walk to each part of this house? You are one lucky man. Well, I say lucky. You've worked for this. You've worked for every bit of it. I like the view of the stone balcony from here. It's stunning. Uh, excuse me as I just jump the, jump the gap with my high heels. You brave enough to go up one? I'm 100% oh. brave enough, but I don't... Oh, I, I was looking like, how, Dan? I can't... I mean, I am brave, but I'm not a ninja, but... Okay, you meant the ladder. Let's set the gap on. Oh, I was planning on throwing myself in the ladder, darling, but now you said that, I'll try not to. You have a stair from the master. <gasps> Dan, this is jaw-droppingly beautiful. So that's still the room I think you should have the one one floor down. Yeah. So you're on the first floor, but the views would be even better yeah, from the so second, wouldn't the they? That, um, they were living in when it burnt down. She tied the drapes to the railings and jumped over the balcony, broke her leg. Saved her life. Yeah. I would go for the saving lives balcony if I were you when choosing which room to which go for. Which balcony to jump off yeah, of, yeah. that one's already yeah. proved its worth. Yeah, no, that's true, yeah. Also, it's bigger, so you can get a little chair and table out there, have your morning coffee there. It's too perfect. But the views, I can't wait till we can get across to that side. I know, and see. And you can shout down at me as I do some gardening yeah. for you. Yeah, just like when I want footage badly, Yeah. but I'm too lazy to... Get out of bed, get say. Get out of bed, yeah, so I just, yeah, yeah. I'll just shout and I'll just put the phone on zoom yeah. yeah and what i'll be doing is you'll see me walking below 
with a tripod and a camera and a wheelbarrow filming myself Looking as busy. well. Yeah, filming yeah. myself just walking backwards. Yeah. yeah, I think we've got this. But we both know maybe. our roles. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a B-Day that looks like it's going to like, splatter you from when you're stood in the entrance. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look as scary up here, does it? Actually, it looks pretty precarious. I'm sorry, camera. but... Hi, like, darling. He looks like Safari Action Man. He is Safari Action Man. Oh, you're making me want to go on Safari, darling. <laughs> well, you know, I thought... Wildlife. Dan's Chateau. Yeah, much the same thing. This place is awesome. You are a visionary genius. Is this... The, these the, are the engineer's plans. Yeah, the architect's um, final... Yeah, so what it like. this is to scale... Yeah. Um, it's like a CAD drawing, basically, and no, it, of it's how the roof's going to go. To have well. that precision level drawing, you can't beat that, can you? Yeah, That's well, it's mean. a skill of following the drawing as well. It's not just the drawing itself. No, I'm sure. You know, because obviously the person who that. made it had a lot as of skill. As you can see, that's what... That's exactly how it turns out right there. That's, that's artist impression. That's that. And there it is, yeah. yes. No, no, you've nailed it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do this the sitting method to get onto the ladder. That's exactly how Philip did it. Yeah, that's how sensible people would do it. See? Perfect. No faffing around. You try doing this in high heels. Yeah, awesome. Is that tied? That makes me happy yeah. that it's tied. Please just concentrate on where you're going. Well, I presume that you've set up an incredibly safe workspace, so I'm not at all worried. I know the site master of this uh, building site. Um, yeah, that's why you should be worried. I should have known I'd find you in the kitchen, darling. Um, you know what's weird is when you see a person stood like in front of these. So like there, you well, realise normally the latch is going. in the middle of the window. Yeah. But it's going to have to be yeah. all the way down here. Just to be able to, to get... open it. Yeah, it's like, huge. Yeah, massive. Another Dan standing on Dan would it just is. about come to the top of the window. Yeah. Because imagine them open. Yeah. Just the view. Yeah. Well, you don't, to be fair, have to work hard to imagine them open. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm finding it quite easy yeah. to imagine them open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't come across on the video how big the windows are, how spectacular the, the views are. Place, yeah. Yeah, look, that's what I try to show in my video, like give people a sense of it. But I still just, until you're here, I don't think you, you don't feel it. it. And also the fact that the views are beautiful on every single side. Yeah, every window you look out. Yeah, yeah it's stunning. Just forest, yeah. God, it's gorgeous. We have to run. I don't want to go. I really don't want to leave. But we do have a very fun guest dinner tonight. Okay. And the reason we have to run now is, uh, Philip, I know yeah. you're fascinated by the fireplace <laughs> um, slash jardiniere. <laughs> um, but you're doing the table for tonight. I know. And I've already laid a fantastic table today. So oh God, Maybe it's going to be hard. Not, Dig actually. deep. Mm. You can do it tonight. Two in a day. No, come on. I could never. Mm. Um, bring, never those sure nights. You can bring like a spade or some work gloves. Not stilettos. <laughs> What? So they're like not, they're not stilettos, they're heels, but they're not stilettos. These are my sensible shoes, because <laughs> I was coming to your work site. Yeah, no. Look, I How feed about them you, Dan. You only get out when you film for English TV. You know, oh, yeah, really I know the ones. ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll bring those yeah. next time, yeah. and I'll set a picnic up, and then I'll go home. Yeah. Does that sound Brilliant. good? Yeah. <laughs> we started to think we'd get away scot-free with no work being done at all, but... Oh, my God. How, how much does that thing weigh? Lucky you wore that safari suit. <laughs> With all the other metal. And the chips. What is that? No. Sure, in a bag. That it's is like one of our boxed wine bags. That's your bathroom. Look, feel the water temperature coming off of that. I bet oh. you, uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's warm at the moment, so but what it's happens in September, Dan? I don't use them and I figure out something else. Yeah. yeah you can always drop in. <laughs> you can always move back in. That mm. Twelders re room is yours whenever know, that's, you want that's exactly it. That's exactly what's stopping me. He doesn't think he needs us. Let's give him three You're months welcome. and ask again. You're more than welcome to. No, no, change Thank your mind. You. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, I haven't been through to see the table yet, but I can see. What's the matter? What have I done? What did I do? Can you see anything wrong with the bread? Not really. No? The, the bread itself is wrong. What's wrong with. The bread. I don't like that bread. It's not real French bread. Which bread do you like? Should be a tradition. Ah, uh, no, moi je préfère ça. I know, but this looks stupid. Well, it's looks stupid every single week you've told me to yes. use those plates. That's not true. You've cut the bread too thick, and now it looks stupid. I always cut the bread thick because it tastes nicer. Well, the problem is the bread itself, like I said. So uh, <laughs> there's no way to make it look good. 
I do. I usually. I like that bread, but I like it thick. So we all want different things. Philip wants that bread, but thinner. You want a different bread altogether. Cut however you prefer. Yeah. And for some reason, my unacceptable bread is made more acceptable in a lozenge shape. It's more, more, basically. Well, that's pretty, you think? Well, that's I'm... prettier than the nicely arranged. That was not nicely arranged. It looked like you had, like, just four pieces of bread, like, one per person. That's I it. can basically see Natty thinking, yep, yeah, this is so normal. <laughs> I just ignore it. it just let them argue over this the bread. Is from the fat, and this <laughs> is from I the baguette. So they are different with. See, darling, why did you do that? Uh, because we ran out of the thinner one and but I moved on to the pan. It's a lot of people with, you know, a, a caring, a great deal, very, very strong opinions. I think it's the heat. I think the heat's getting to all of us. Very well integrated. Into French life. I like your outfit, by the way. Yeah, I think you um, you know. Oh, I miss Safari Boyfriend, though. Safari Philip was fun. What are we having? This looks very exciting. We are having a melon gazpacho. Yes. Yeah. I love because that. It's sweltering. So. And with those on top. Yeah. Cucumber. We've got. Is it from the garden? Uh, yes, that is. And in the soup as well. We've got tomato and cucumber, so we've got some basil. Oh. And that's that um, different basil, isn't it? It's like holy basil or yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah. it's called. Yeah. It's really good. And then I've got some crispy, uh, what's it called? Ah, oh, crispy. Crispy. I'm going to go through and we're just going to struggle with the bread as it is. Bye, everyone. Bye, Dave. There's the bread of shame going through to the table. Will it let the entire table down? This is what we need to discover. Oh, Philip! I'd love to be like grumpy about your table because you were grumpy about my bread, but how can anyone be grumpy about this? The oh, light no, coming through as well. Was it a useful suggestion? Was it now? Very was useful. It? This looks a lot better. I think this might be my favorite of all of the tablecloths that Philip uses, especially in combination with these glasses. Because they just make, they make me so happy. They're like a little bit of sunshine at every place setting. Marie has outdone herself as usual as well. But gosh. But look at the light in the evening coming through to the door. Can you um, light the candles and tie my shoelaces? <laughs> I'm going to call everyone in for dinner. And oh, my goodness, everyone is so beautiful this evening in their summer dresses. You are also dressed for dinner, looking magnificent. I like the neckerchief, the summer neckerchief. Wow, Marie, honestly, you look gorgeous. Would you all like to come through for dinner? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a uh, melon gazpacho today oh. with our first cucumber from the garden, and then crispy prosciutto and a cucumber and a herby cream cheese. With our first what from the garden? Cucumber. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen a melon in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, so many people ask me, what happens to the plates that are already there underneath the starter? They get taken. And I've never filmed this before. They get whisked away after the starter. They've gone now. We just have the charger plates. They get washed. And then they get... Brought back with Pretty food on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, OK, well, so there we go. Now everyone knows the mystery of the plates. <laughs> We have a, I've gone a bit Provencal, we have a veal paupiette, then we have a uh, ratatouille using our uh, courgettes, we've got the yellow and green ones, but before we get sick of them. Whilst we're all, <laughs> well, so we're all uh, still enthusiastic. Yeah. And some uh, oregano flowers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. To having my own chat. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
another day of La Land Life and our little picnic at Dan's Chateau de Chaumont. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the patrons of the Chateau Diaries. And if you haven't seen it yet, this week's patron video is the announcement of this year's patron days. So please check that out and let us know as soon as possible if you can join us here in August. We would absolutely love to see you. And I also show you some adorable tiles that everyone in the Chateau made for me with Vivian from Chateau Love as a surprise. Today I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande, JC O'Ward, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatek, Walter Plant and Frank Roposhki and James Snow. Thank you so much to all of you and lots of love to everyone. I can't wait to see you all again on Thursday.